Good morning, children. Welcome back to the Bible class. In the previous class, we discussed about transpiration, and we know the definition of transpiration. It is a physiological process in which the loss of excess amount of water from a plant body in the form of water vapor through the stomata. This process we call as transpiration. And we also discussed about different types of transpirations, such as stomatal transpiration, lenticular transpiration, and cuticular transpiration. The stomatal transpiration takes place with the help of stomata, the tiny pores present on the surface of the leaf. We call them stomata. So the stomata are composed with a kidney shaped, bean shaped guard cells. So the guard cells, the space between them becomes wider in the presence of sunlight. As the sunlight goes down, the space between the guard cells becomes narrow. So we call this as mechanism of opening and closing of stomata. During stomatal transpiration, the transpiration takes place through stomata. So we call it as stomatal transpiration. And cuticular transpiration, the transpiration takes place through cuticle. What are cuticles? When a thin section of the leaf is taken, I told you in the previous class. When the thick, thin section, transverse section of a leaf is taken, and the thin transverse section of the leaf is placed on the slide, and the slide is further observed under microscope, we could see that upper epidermis of the leaf, lower epidermis of the leaf. In this way, upper epidermis and lower epidermis and this the cells present in this this now we can call upper epidermis and this we can call a lower epidermis what is this this is a cross section a transverse section thin section from a leaf when the thin section is taken from a leaf and the, when the slide is prepared and the slide is offered under microscope the, both the upper epidermis of the leaf upper and lower appears in this way and here this is space this is cuticle what we call cuticle in addition to this we could able to see the cells which are arranged without leaving intercellular space what is this so we call these cells parasite parenchyma what we call parasite parenchyma and some cells which are arranged by leaving more air space we call them spongy parenchyma and at the center we could see the association of xylem and phloem xylem are water conducting tissue and phloem are food conducting tissue the association when xylem and phloem appears in a group in an association that union of xylem and phloem is called vascular bundle so when we are able to see this vascular bundle parasite parenchyma spongy parenchyma air space, upper epidermis, lower epidermis and cuticle. We able to see this when the leaf is cut transversely and a thin section from the leaf is taken and a slide is prepared. When the slide is observed under microscope, we are able to see this anatomy, the internal structure, arrangement of different cells like parasite parenchyma and spongy parenchyma. <coughs> so here, a parasite parenchyma, the cells which are arranged in a row. We don't find any intercellular space. The gap between the cell, we call it as intercellular space. Whereas, we could see a much space, a more gap between spongy parenchyma. Parasite parenchyma arranged in a row without leaving intercellular space. Spongy parenchyma arranged by leaving much air space. And at the center, you can see the vascular bundle. So this is, this shows the structure, the anatomy of the leaf. Now we are here to discuss transpiration. So stomatal transpiration. Here, when the leaf transfer section is taken in a slide, we could see the opening of stomata appears on the upper epidermis as well as lower epidermis. We can see that opening of stomata with the help of guard cell. Like this. On the epidermal layer, we could see the opening of stomata. So, 
Tra uh, stomatal transpiration they occurs with stomata. Cuticle transpiration. Cuticle transpiration, cuticular transpiration occurs through the cells present in the cuticle. You got it now, what are cuticles? So cuticular transpiration occurs where the cuticles are involved and stomatal transpiration occurs where the stomata are involved and the third type of transpiration that is lenticular transpiration. What is that? Lenticular. In lenticular transpiration, the lenticles are developed over the stomata in a old trees, in a plant which is much elder, grows very old plant or very old tree you can call in such trees or plants which is very elderly grown in that those plants the, on the stomata over the stomata a special structure is developed that special structure which develops over the stomata is called lenticles so the transpiration which takes place with the help of lenticle is called lenticular transpiration so number one stomatal transpiration Number two, number one is stomatal transpiration. Two is cuticular transpiration, and the third one is lenticular transpiration. These three transpirations we have discussed in the previous class. Now we are here to discuss about the transpiration process by through Gans photometer. Gans photometer. See here the title heading is given: measurement of transpiration. Through Ganon's photon. Ganon was a scientist who designed this device, this apparatus. This apparatus is called photometer, and this photometer is named after Ganon, the name of scientist. So it is commonly called as Ganon's photometer. So Ganon's photometer is used to measure the rate of transpiration. Here, this is a healthy shoot study. The loss of water from the shoot of a plant is widely equal to the loss of water during transpiration. Here, the shoot is taken, the healthy green leafy shoot is taken, that is cut and further washed it cleanly and placed in the GAN photometer. And the mouth of the photometer is covered tightly by using a cork. A rubber cork is used, one whole rubber cork through which the shoot of this plant is inserted in this. In that way, the little portion of the shoot can be dipped in the water, the cut portion. In this way, we have to insert and tightly by using Vaseline the rubber core can be fixed in this way and the entire apparatus this Ganon's photometer to be filled with water you can see here this is a bent capillary tube this is bent down molds and this end the capillary tube end which is bent downwards in direction that is further kept in the Beaker containing water and this bent capillary tube will have a measuring scale. Here it will be a scale interval. And here this flask say funnel say wide mouth opening, it should it is called it's a reservoir for water to reset the air bubbles. We have to fill the water in this entire device in such a way that there should not be any air space, air bubbles. Later, the bent part of this capillary tube is little lifted upward in direction. Again, we have to keep it down in the beaker containing in water. The moment when we lift this bent portion of this capillary tube, what happens? The pressure is developed. Due to development of water bubbles, the pressure is developed and that pressure starts pulling the water. And after some time this entire setup is placed in this way and if it is kept under sunlight, after very few movements we can observe that the water may be a colored water, 
generally color water is preferred to conduct this activity gamma photometer activity and the entire color water or non color water is seen in the photometer it shows the loss of water if the loss of water can be calculated or measured by using this scale the scale which is on the available on the capillary tube to which we can conclude that due to development of pressure this shoot a healthy shoot leafy shoot which is placed here that absorb the water present in this photometer once this shoot absorb that water that water further given out in the form of water vapors through the stomata stomata transmission of this and that results into the loss of water the level of water in the beaker goes on falls down because of loss of water due to that and here also we can measure it how much quantity of water is lost during this transpiration process so this is a simple experiment help us to measure the rate of transpiration so we call this as measurement of transpiration through using gamma photometer there are some many other photometers are also there simple photometer etc that we will discuss in our next class and what are the rate, uh, factors associating with rate of transpiration so this is enough for today the further part of this transpiration such as factors affecting rate of transpiration that all will be discussed in our next class so we will stop today here thank you one and all